That was Deborah Jenkins, who founded an innovative dance program in Huntsville, Alabama, for students with special needs. We featured their North Adventure last month. Well, guess who's here in Atlanta this weekend for a big dance competition? They're teaming up with uh, other dancers for a piece that's raising awareness about people with special needs. They're performing this piece that you're watching right here tomorrow in a competition that's open to all dancers their age. Welcome, ladies. Great to see you. Let me introduce you. Going from left to right, we've got Anna. Say hello. Hello. Deborah. Hi, hello. Hello. And Carolyn. Hello. Great to see you. All right. Who is the most excited to be here? Not here, but in Atlanta for the competition. Me. <laughs> all right. So De tell, tell me a little bit about the, the number that they're going to do and, and the, the importance of it and what it all means. Well, we teamed up with a dance, a local dance studio and put five typical teenagers, five teenagers with special needs in a piece. And the story that we're just trying to tell is the story of being left out and overlooked and being marginalized. And um, it is very powerful. We performed it last weekend in Huntsville and got a tremendous reaction. So tomorrow night we're going to be dancing and they're going to be dancing in front of about 800 Whoa. dancers from across the southeast. 800 people. Anna, how excited are you to dance in front of 800 people? I'm so excited today. I'm yeah. excited too. Everybody's excited, and um, they're also excited that we get to go to a big party tonight. We got a party tonight. Mm -hmm. and, Ka and actually, Carolyn wanted to tell you something else that she is very excited about. Tell Vinny what comes up for you after. I got a special Olympics um, brace. Special Olympics brace. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, but what she's not telling you is that Carolyn will be representing the United States of America at the Special Olympics in Seoul, Korea. She's leaving in a week. You're going to Korea? What What, what event are you? Are you um, a, figure skating. Figure skating? All right. Well, I don't know how to skate myself, so <laughs> what's, what's the toughest part of figure skating? I worked on my jump spins. That's Jumps amazing. Spins. Representing. Right that is absolutely amazing. So a dancer, a figure skater. Yeah. Anna, what else do you do for fun? I would do like a picture. Uh huh. She likes to color pictures, but singing and dancing is your favorite, isn't it? That's what she likes to do the most. You know, this program is so amazing, and we've been watching it, Deborah. Um, tell me what it's like, the, the preparation, how much time goes into it, because, you know, we watch the final performance and we're amazed, mm -hmm. but uh, it takes a lot of work, right? Yes, it yeah. does. Uh -huh. They they rehearse a lot, don't you, girls? And they yeah, they work yeah, really yeah. hard. But what's been interesting um, to me is it's to video. see that it doesn't take any more rehearsal for them than it does for anybody else. And yeah, people yeah, are, are like the, the one in this TV. We've been working more really hard. Yes, we have been yeah, working really hard. Everybody was so happy. And we all just clap for us when we did the evening and dance. They sure did. Everybody was and very happy. Yeah, that's me. Up there. <laughs> <laughs> that is you, and Carolyn. That is the ever guy. Okay, well, let me tell him about our about why our dance is important. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because we <laughs> rehearse a lot, but you know, contrary to what people may expect, it's no different teaching dance and performing arts to people with special needs than it is to teaching typical kids. Um, and. What I have found is that the joy that comes from their performance is just so pure and it's just so, you know, they're just so true to who they are and they just put forth a beautiful performance because of that. Right, and will this be the first competition? It will and we're going to get, tell him where the next Good competition luck. is. Where's the next um, dance competition? In Birmingham. In Birmingham, That's yes. All right. Well, good luck tomorrow with your competition. And thank you so much for coming in here. And thank you for providing us with the beautiful video of, uh, of your dancing. Thank you, Vinny. Tell him thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Good luck at the Special Olympics. Uh, we'll yeah, be cheering yeah. for you. We'll break a leg. All right. Thanks so much, ladies. All right. President Obama.